GCK King Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Have you ever asked yourself this question? What steps can I take to obtain God's provision of salvation? Today is certainly the day to find answers to this important question. I am happy to welcome you to another episode of the GCK King Circle. My name is Praise, your host for today's episode. I am Paul, your co-host. Many people miss out on announcing the best gifts in life simply because they do not take the right steps to accessing these gifts. This is very sad need to know, Paul. True. How then can I know the steps to take in accepting this great gift of salvation? Good question, Praise. The convener of the GCK King Circle, a man of exceptional honor and grace, who himself has experienced this gift of salvation for 60 years, will be showing us the sure steps to salvation. But before he comes up, join us as we listen to this soul enriching music from our guest gospel singer. All the saints and angels bow before your throne. All the elders cast their crowns before the Come on, lift it up where you are. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Come on, let's sing that verse again. I believe that worship song refreshed your soul. Indeed. It is now time to discover the steps. Steps to salvation. Very definite steps. Number one, you will accept that you are a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All means all. Every boy, every girl, everyone. Number two now, you repent of all the sins you have committed. You confess them to God. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. And then, number three now, ask for pardon and forgiveness. Confess your own sin and repent of your own sin. It's a personal decision you are taking. The next one is that you will promise God never to go back to those sins anymore because you decide to turn away totally and completely from them. Number five, you ask Jesus to come into your heart and dwell there. Behold, I stand at the door and know if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in into him and will sup with him and he with me. The final step now, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Sir, what must I do to be saved? You have a responsibility and you must do that thing that is necessary to us to be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thine house. If you have not been born again, today you can be born again. And the steps you are going to take, everything is very, very clear. And you know, let's say you are living in a house. And then there is something upstairs. And you are being on the ground floor all the time. And every time you, time you ask your daddy and you say, Daddy, can you give me this? And daddy said, go upstairs and take it. Then you sit down there. And next time you say again, Daddy, um, all the other children, they are enjoying this thing. Daddy, can you give, just give me this thing and to show that you love me? And Daddy said, go upstairs. And he showed you the staircase. And he said, take that step, put your leg there, one after the other. Then you'll get to that thing. And the greatest gift you are looking for is 
is there sitting down and waiting for you. And then you sit down there and you never go upstairs. You never climb the stairs to go to get that gift. You will never have it, although you may cry, although you may ask, although you may trouble your daddy or your mommy to give you, you will never have it because you are not climbing upstairs to go and take that thing. The same thing with salvation. You can be here and everybody is getting salvation, everybody is getting born again, the joy of salvation, the new life in Christ. Everybody is testifying and you've never got it. You know why? You didn't go upstairs. You didn't take the steps. You didn't do the things that are necessary for you to get there. Today, you are going to decide. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. You are wondering, when will I get saved? And the Lord said, everything is ready for you. The gift is waiting for you. That salvation is available right now. And then you say, but I'm going to take some steps. Oh yes, those steps we are talking about, they are not steps you are going to wait for one year before you take the steps. How long does it take? How long are you going to take before you get born again? It doesn't take time at all. Number one, you recognize you are a sinner. Number two, you confess to the Lord that, Oh Lord, look at my sins, look at my sins. And you repent of them. That wouldn't even take you five, ten minutes. And then you take the next step. You say, Lord, please forgive me. I'm sorry for those things that I've done. It doesn't take time. Then you turn away from all those transgressions, all those evil things. And then you ask the Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart today and come to stay. And then I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You can do that right now. And if you do that right now, a transformation will come. A change will come in your heart. Then you'll be able to join in singing, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Salvation is a very serious thing. And it's not child's play. And when you have that salvation, you will know you have salvation. The Lord will forgive all your sins. That's why Jesus came. That's why he died on the cross of Calvary. So that you will have the salvation of the Lord. And when the Lord will come, he will take you to heaven. Now you will pray after me. Say it sincerely from your heart. Almighty God, I've had your word today. I recognize myself as a sinner. I've disobeyed your word. I've disobeyed my parents. I feel guilty. But I come to receive Jesus as my Savior. Lord Jesus, come into my heart now. Forgive all my sins. Change my life. Give me grace. So that I will not go back to my sins again. Wash me. Cleanse me. With your precious blood. Lord Jesus. Give me salvation now. I believe that you receive me now. I thank you that I am saved. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this time. I pray for all these children. I pray, Lord, as they have taken the step, this great gift of salvation, give unto every one of them in Jesus' name. We pray, oh Lord, that our light will shine, that the grace of God in us, other people will see and know that we are truly children of God. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I believe you have taken the steps to salvation and you are now saved and made anew. Be a world changer for Christ. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui would love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us 
on the next episode of GCK King Circle.